in there, like, you know, it freaked me out. Oh, what you, oh, just rambling? It's a little bit better. just started rambling you go me yeah you want me to do it i want you to try are you sure do your best buddy <clears throat> Ooh, welcome everybody to this week's episode of the terrible table podcast how was that so far that was great was that good i was hoping you'd keep going and finish it oh, that can, was a great well, intro well, i can edit like, don't go, edit it out Welcome it's everybody to this week's episode of the Terrible Table Podcast. I'm doing my best announcer voice in honor of the fights over the weekend. We've got Evan Cooper. We've got Chris Luger. We've got Johnny Gates. Welcome everybody to this week's episode of the Terrible Table Podcast. Hello. Welcome everybody. Awesome. Thank y'all for coming. This was uh, the dog, best intro Jesse ever. James yeah, we, sw- we switched some stuff up. We did. We're on different sides That's now. That's right. I figured the obstructions... The, Two people on this side is kind of weird because whoever's over here is like I mean, right there. Yeah, I'm up against Johnny's paper towels. Yeah. Yeah. Can you not have one of those paper towels? Yeah, it's, what do you think it's going to smell like? I'm not going to smell it. You know what this does look like though? It looks like we're renegotiating a jackass contract. Like, <laughs> like he's my agent, and I'm like, look, man, I can't do any more nut stunts. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm out on that. I saw one today. I guess it's on a new one because Johnny Knoxville is old as shit in it now. But oh uh, yeah, the last one. Yeah, and it I, was wild. They took a slap shot. To the nuts. He was wearing a cup. Was it the th- like no they were doing like trivia? a no a hockey slap <laughs> shot like oh. they had PK Subban hit him with the <laughs> clapper in the nuts, dude. And I was like, that's I'm insane. not sure what any of those words meant. PK Subban is a retired hockey player. Black guy. I wasn't gonna say it. He's just a hockey. I'm claiming guy to mine. Me. I don't <laughs> <laughs> claiming mine in hockey. He's one dude. of the seven. You know, they're out there. It's becoming a a more diverse sport. Now well, the funny thing is, sweet. hockey was invented by black guys. <laughs> In Canada, look it up. I don't. I don't believe this. For look it up. Say. There's no there's there's a computer. There's right not there. a computer. It doesn't work. <laughs> That's our sport. That's don't right. take yeah, it. So don't do it, man. We y'all taking everything else. Um, well, let me ask y'all real quick. I'm sorry to change the subject. What, what what's up with this shit? What what is why it's what, so close? Is it, no, no, no. Is it because y'all are comics? What is my stands not good enough? <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, my what? back hurts, and I decided to lean back, and I can't do that with that. That's a Fat Joe song. A lean back. He's yeah, not Fat Joe. He's Slim I Joe sp- now. I spent. Eight dollars a piece on this. These were only eight bucks. Yeah, they were cheap. I I'm, need one for Tiki I, so I can host from the mics. I bought four from the soundboard. I bought four I'm of so them at to once. Be on stage. Bought four of them at once. They were. Uh, I mean, it might have been cheaper than eight bucks. Send me that link because I really want one for Tiki Bar so I can just be like, "Your next comic coming to the stage." I'm be from the be from the corner. I've got a, uh, I've got. Like one I'm so the, fucking drunk. I <laughs> got one of the small tripod <laughs> versions of it. I don't need. No, that sounds horrible. You know, what I'm talking, they're smaller than this though. They're I like shorter. this. You can't have one of these. I know. I'm going to need you to send me that. I mean, I guess unless everybody decides to start doing like this. Because this is the third episode where. Second. Dustin started it last week. I thought. Because he goes, I'm going to do this. Garrett didn't do it, Uh too. I thought for some reason I thought he did. Garrett was nervous and he was being a good boy. What, I just throw these fucking things in the trash? No, I'll use them if my back doesn't hurt. Whatever, man. Y'all hurt my feelings with this shit. Dude, you hurt my back. No, I'm going back to it. No, no, no. I'm just warming up. Okay. No, you can't go back to it now. We're this, all we're all stuck like this. For I the don't rest like of the all show. of us doing it. Though. Why not? Now I can move freely about. I can do whatever I want. I to. feel like we're Matt and Shane right now because they're always on the couch just broing out like this. Well, it, they, but they're well, on well, to something. Hold on. Here's the thing. What if it changes the dynamic of the show? I hope so. And we actually do a good episode. That though, that'll never happen. I mean, I understand. <laughs> You're doing good so far. You fallen not asleep interrupted. and didn't interrupt anybody. I uh, I've been yawning like crazy. I told you I'm on like. Fifteen hours that, of sleep and those headphones days? still popping. No, I just pulled it out. My okay. I'm clumsy. Oh, he just has well, his foot on it. Here's another thing that people don't realize is the gr- we're in a garage. Yeah, that used to have cars in it. Nice. The floor slopes that way for water runoff. So <laughs> when you're sitting over there, that's why you keep every now and then you'll start, <laughs> you'll start moving, drifting. and every now and then I start getting closer to the table because it just and as a big fella, you naturally like, wants to do that. Why is my belly I can't under the booth table? or the regular uh, table now? <laughs> I yeah, call oh, man, I hate booths that are, that are bolted to the floor. Dude, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Evan I sit down and I'm no, like. No, that's the thing. As a skinny person, I never in my life even knew that they bolted them. I didn't no, know man. those. I'll get in there and those motherfuckers won't move. I'm like, 
Are the chick? No, man, we got to go somewhere else. And you sit there and you're like, "Am I gonna say something and move and be that guy?" <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Or I can't fucking breathe. No, I will sit there. I mean, <sighs> dude, it's the worst when the kids. I'm when sitting, it's there, the next I'm sitting there like this. My kids like, "Can I get out and use the bathroom?" You got to go under the fucking. Table. We don't have to call the fire department yeah, if, if you I, gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, if, I, <laughs> <laughs> if I get out, I can't get back in. Ain't no. I come home. There's a big line across my. Your <laughs> child would never. Especially if they saw you get pickaxed out of an Applebee's. Yeah, they had to come in, <laughs> come in and unbox. Bolt the table and lift it up. You got um, an invoice from a Ruby Tuesdays. They just get a bunch of go out to eat. <laughs> they just go get a bunch of butter from the back to slide you out. He's no, going. It's just a quiet, soft smoking Mexican. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you too, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny because, like, you remember when when a certain Wait president? On. We're not going to get Wait super on. political, but <laughs> you remember when a certain president was like. They're coming over here. They're drug dealers. They're killers. They're coming over. <laughs> they're <laughs> drug one, yeah, dealers and killers. <laughs> but but they're, like, they're the hardest fucking walkers. Well, though. no, not even but that. But Jesus Christ, the Jimmy Chimes. I have never met a Mexican man out in public who wasn't very timid. And I know that's not everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They're never flaunting it. <laughs> the, yeah, they're, they don't have the sombreros and the big boots that's on. It. Go to Dallas. <laughs> I, and I understand. But in, in our area... My experience is I have never met an aggressive Mexican human in my life. I will life. say this. Nobody smiles harder than a Mexican who acting like he don't know what the fuck you say it. Yeah. Like if they just act like they don't know it, I don't, I don't. Dude, you I know what the fuck I'm saying, dude. I got a customer that legitimately none of their people know how to speak English. They just smile. And I'll be like, Hey, can you sign this? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah, and he goes, Yeah. And I'm like, I got you, man. I just walk off yeah. no English is what I write yeah. on that. I, well, I deal with that quite a bit, too, because of the restaurants. Yes. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm going into a restaurant before they're open 99 yeah. times out of 100. So I go in. I'm like, hey, is there a manager or owner available? And they're like, yeah. and I'm like, jefe? And they're like, oh, see, 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 see. Yeah. Damn, yeah. uh, Damn. Does that mean boss, jefe? I don't yeah, know. I don't think so. yeah. Oh, let's get back to not fitting in booths. Oh, geez. I, I mean. There's some chairs that I'm like, honey, I think I'm going to get mine to go. <laughs> the chair? No, no, no. I, I can't sit in that. I brought my own. No work. Yeah. <laughs> you got a recliner you got in the one, Did y'all see? You got one of those fold out chairs. Did y'all see Big J <laughs> Okerson's uh, special dog belly where the Dude. guy fell out? Of, like, happens, just happenstance. You, have you Fat seen this video? That guy breaks his chair. I've, the I guy think. breaks his chair and just sits there. And he goes, You're just going to sit in it? No, he goes, <laughs> Did you break your chair? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, you're living my worst nightmare right now. And he goes, are you just going to sit there? And he's like, yeah. yeah. He didn't I don't want, to want anybody the, to see me. Because you know before they were like, yeah. hey, we're filming. Everyone be cool. Yeah. And he's just like, fuck it. This is my seat tonight. And I sent that to my brother. My brother is also a bigger fella. Uh, my brother, you're living my worst nightmares. Because that's like, I'm not making fun of you as a fat guy. I, uh, my heart dude. goes out to you uh, right when now. I, when it's a questionable chair, I, I'm like, Whoop, 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 whoop. Dude, hold I, on. I think I'm just going to sit forward like this. Well, it's that stupid joke that I have. Like, I'm a fat guy. It means I'm good at math. I've been calculating <laughs> if chairs are going to break for the last 30 years. Like, you will look at a chair and be like, you know, man, I drove here. And I think I'm just going to stand, dude. I, my, my, car. my back hurts from yeah. sitting for some. I need to get some blood circulating. Yeah, yeah. You just make an excuse. Evan yeah. doesn't understand no, this shit, doesn't. and he's loving two yeah, fat guys talking about I've it. Never, yeah. I've never had to think about the just social jump ropes and math you have to do. No, not even that, because, like, he's 6'4". I'm, the average height is 5'9". Like, I'm, I'm short compared to dudes, but it's like the world is still built for me. Yeah. yeah the, there are places where it's like this isn't I hit made. my head well, about 12 find, times a you day. You can find clothes. Yeah. They yeah. fit. Yeah, me and him can't go to H&M, dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> H&M I haven't, haven't seen an really, old Navy I, since I fourth grade. I hadn't been able to buy Nike in a decade. <laughs> Dude, well, I've, been, I've been a starter guy for three or four years now. <laughs> well, it's like, have you... <laughs> You've been forced to switch my <laughs> All my Rawlings stuff is... You know, <laughs> Rawlings. Those mesh gym shorts that just didn't give a fuck about Dude, you being hard. The Why, mesh shorts. It, like, they were so long. Why did they not at some point just go, hey... I was in school when Nike Dry Tech existed. Yeah. And I went to Middle Magnet. If they would have ordered it, we would have bought it. Why did we still have mesh, non boner You try to put it in your Cato. waistband, now your belly button just looks fucked up. Like, Cato Parish. What, what do you want? What do you want? There's a Diet Dr. Pepper in there, yes. Third one down, pull it. No, third one down, you can open it. Just pull it. Pull. Come on, big man. Can he get it? I'm about to say my baby boy can pull drinks. That's exactly you want how I pulled buns. You want Silly Wonka? In there. 
No, I'm good. I got water. There's Coke in there. Yeah, I was just about to say, I was like, nah, man, I'm fridge. trying to come down. Keep. I decided I got to quit drinking again for another year because I'm being so lazy with all the shows and shit. <laughs> he's so mad at me because he walked, he walked and got beer, and he's mad at me about it. When did you walk and get beer? Oh, more, more, more than once at this point in time. I think I started Twice something. <laughs> no, the second time is because we were walking to the gas station anyway. The kids want to walk everywhere, and I'm like, all right, I'm not fat and out of shape. Let's do it. And That's fun, man, mate. <laughs> yeah, like, Daddy's going to get drunk. Y'all come help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just going to be like, me and my dad used to walk all the time, and then they're going to go up, and they're like, that was a vice. I, am very, <laughs> I remember when Daddy's case of beer busted open, I had to help carry the, the individuals Dude. home. I remember I shook one before he had it as a prank, and he punched me in the stomach. I had to carry him in my shirt like this. <laughs> She got a little dress up. Everybody gets bunch of four. Beers. Everybody gets four. Sonny has one in her diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and I know who short me, Sonny. Sonny's definitely going to be the one sneaking beers. Yeah. Out of the <laughs> Dude, we got a friend of ours that has a nine-year-old. And they came over and were like, yeah, he's grounded. He can't watch TV and stuff. I'm like, what would he do? And we're like, we caught him and his older cousin sneaking beers. And Hell like, yeah. And I'm like, you're nine, dog. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. <laughs> And I go, and how old's your cousin? Too, he goes, 12. And I'm like, bro, no, okay, what okay. are you doing? He was more influenced, but 12 is okay. Dude, Because that's seven good. I, I think I drank for the first time like freshman year. And I pounded back some a whole thing of Jaeger. Because like, that's <laughs> what everyone was drinking, Jaeger bombs. And I threw up so much. And we were eating Velveeta. So it was just Velveeta <laughs> and licorice flavor coming uh. out. <laughs> Uh, the first time That's I ever been this week's episode of a terrible <laughs> yeah, table. The first time I ever drank, I remember like I snuck like I snuck alcohol and I got in trouble. But I, the first time I ever like drank, it was uh, it was a case of beer at a football game. The whole that somebody got it. Oh. No, I was it was I was probably eighteen, and we might have each had like three, maybe four, five. Yeah. And we were 14, so we were fucked up. Oh, yeah. I miss those days when you could have five beers and be hammered. Dude. I could do it right now. I know have you have five can. beers and be like, I, had I can't so feel my lips, y'all. I had 17 beers last night, and I was like, I feel, bro, I feel all right. <laughs> like, dude, I was just watching the fights, drinking beer. I can have one more. I can have 12 more. That's why. That's I'm, wild. I am, yeah, dude. I have gotten to a problem of drinking. Me and Jordan talked about it, and I was like, I think the kids are going to wake up one day when they're older and be like, that was an alcoholic. <laughs> She's like, for sure. And I'm like, all right. I'm going to take another year off. Yeah, Let's there's a way to do goes. it. Yeah. There's a way to do it. They can know my dad likes to drink. But yeah. if, they see your dad, if they see your dad go through a case, they're going to be like, what? Well, that's the thing, like, with my dad. My dad when they start drinking with and their heavy drinking friends, is like he killed a 12-pack, you're going to be like, my dad did I'll dad. be honest with you. He drove us home. It's like, t- <laughs> Tuesday for Paul. a soccer yeah. game. I, that's why we walk to the gas station. I will never drive with the kids <laughs> drunk. Go. If there the kids go. are there, we walk them back for more. Better. I will never drive so that's with funny, the kids. With started, the kids. Because you started this I'll saying that the home. kids wanted to walk everywhere. No, no. I, think it's, I, need, a, I need more <laughs> beer. Kids so look, were walking. We pick up our – we walk <laughs> – Adventure time. Yeah, get on the magic everywhere. school bus. Get in the fucking wagon. And I wasn't planning on getting more beer that day. Get out of the wagon. I got I got too much beer. <laughs> Y'all got to walk. That's why I brought this wagon. I go to the <laughs> – No, you just make them carry you. you, you just, just, life's about this. You sit them on top up. of the beer. <laughs> They're sitting on top of the beer in the wagon. No, Damn, Sonny, my butt's cold. They're just trying Sonny to push Chris. He's sat on top of a case of beer in the grocery buggy. For sure, she That's has. Funny. That's awesome. That's good. But she That's likes awesome. That's She's good. like, I'm going to drink yeah. these. Yeah. Dad's going to share this She's shit. trying to get it by osmosis. Hey, we, we put a mixer in there. It's a little too strong for her. She, she has a fucking juice and beer. <laughs> Get her some wine. Um. So, yeah. Sonny's just crushing smearing off one day. <laughs> Dude, Smirnoff hangovers are the worst. <laughs> it's so much Mad Dog sugar. 2020 hangovers are the no, worst. No, my mom found Mad Dog in my room one time, and she goes, do you need me to buy you liquor? I hadn't, I hadn't even drunk it yet. That's funny. And she goes, what is I this? know what you're doing. Like, and I'm thinking I'm going to get you. She's like, look, I did it. You did. We you know, I get it. You don't have to do this. If you need me to buy, I will go to the fucking liquor store and buy you some alcohol. I will commit a felony before I let my son. She gives me this shit. Is it illegal? She for got your, me <laughs> Is it illegal for your parents to give you alcohol? No. Yes. No, I don't think so. No, think so. it's they can't because it's still contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, if they leave it out and you take it, it's probably negligence in a way. But but also that's just a good. Yeah, time. you're also gonna you're gonna take the charge in Louisiana because you can be charged as a, depending on what Dude. you do. When my parents, so my parents always had a sick liquor cabinet. My parents did not I drink, so did. everything was always like old as shit. 
That's and the worst time. That's going to get you fucked up so much. Yeah, when we were, aged when they moved out of my childhood home, they were emptying out the liquor cabinet. And I was like 22, 23 at this time. Maybe, no, I guess they did it five years ago. So I was like 27, 28. And we're emptying out, and I go, you don't want that. And they're like, why? And I was like, that's all water. And they're, <laughs> nice. <laughs> they're like, what? Use, Dude, you there was which like ones. four bottles. Eventually, it got to a point, like, I was taking the tequila and filling it with water <laughs> to a point where I was just like, I'm just, just going to take the, the fuck. No, I just take the whole bottle. <laughs> and, like, they are obviously not drinking this because this Patron they bought is definitely not going to get them fucked up. My mom doesn't make margaritas ever, so I just got to take this shit because eventually they're just going to open it and be like, all right, what the fuck? I wish you would have told me this sooner so I could have got more. <laughs> yeah, we were entertaining, and everybody's like, you mixed it kind of light. Yeah, exactly, so... <laughs> There, we probably threw four or five bottles away that I was like, that's like there was a bottle of hot damn we swiped one time. My dad used to love hot damn. That is such he a garbage human. Dude, it. anything schnapp like no, is such a trash human. He called it hot dams. <laughs> Give me a shot of hot damn. You guys want some hot damn? You guys? <laughs> hey. Guys. Hey. So, <clears throat> oh y'all have had rumple mitts. I know you have because yeah. we hang out at Tiki. Yeah. Jack, he loves Smashes them. He drinks, he, I think it's like either a Budweiser two or three, one. And then every two or third beer, he gets a shot of Rumple Mints. And it is the most disgusting. One time I took one with him, I was like, fuck it, I'll take a shot. And I was like, Jack, that's the worst fucking thing First I've ever had. First time I had one was a gay bar, and I'm like, well, I think swallowed loose. I guess it's easy for him. Oh, have you ever sin. had the uh, Baron Jaeger bombs? No. no. You do Baron Jaeger, which is Honey Jaeger, and uh, Blue Monster. Ugh. It's delicious. Dude, energy drinks are so fucking disgusting. I know, but I mean, what are you going to do a bomb with? You got to do it with Red Bull or energy drink something. Do you have to? I don't know, I man. So. When I was when I turned twenty one, I was in bad mood, and I'm I was born on St. Patrick's oh, Day. Oh, flex! So oh. I was no, like, I was <laughs> Big born city on Saint Boy over here. I was born on Saturday. Now, I will say Baton Rouge has an amazing St. Patrick's Day parade. Exactly, and it's one of the oh, it's and that's my best that's my twenty first birthday. It is one of the best times you will have. That was the life. first time I yeah. knew what an Irish car bomb was. And I was like sipping it, yeah. and then the bartender finally goes, "Hey, you're not." How, no, he goes like, "How old way. are you?" And I go, I, I, "This is my 21st birthday." And he goes, "Oh shit!" He gives me a hundred bucks, and then he's like, "All right, how many of those did you had?" And I was like, "I like sip two. And he was like, "Oh, well, you'll be fine." And he goes, "This is how you do it: dropped it, bombed it, and then about four of those later, blacking out." Like, cause what my, is the car bomb? Is that the beer with the liquor in it? It's, the, it's a Guinness, Guinness, and they drop. I think is it Jaeger? Uh, no, it's a uh, Irish whiskey. Yeah, they. And they oh, drop, like it you drop it in. Drop you it drop in a whiskey. Foams. I mean, a shot glass of Irish whiskey into a glass of Guinness, and it pops, Take it and back. then you drink the whole thing at once. So about four of those. I'm, I'm just never, over here thinking I'm not going to drink today, and then I'm like, <laughs> like that sounds good. delicious. <laughs> You're like, you I like some, a dark beer. Johnny's, Johnny's got a hot keg of Coors Original back there. We can tell. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my dad. Does anybody like me. Colorado warm piss? My dad once told me my favorite beer is cold beer. Or my second favorite beer is cold beer. My first one is free. He's like, I don't care what it tastes yeah, like, baby. Very nice. That's a fucking, that's an alcoholic problem. That's about to say, you, were, you were born into it. Well, that's the thing. Like, my dad, he, he always drank beer, but he never you drank copious. You adapted the darkness. I was born into it. He's never drank copious You merely amounts. inherited the solicitor. That's right. I was born with it. <laughs> <laughs> Molded by it. By the time I lost my liver, I was already a man. Yeah. Dude. But yeah, like. And my dad, he can pound them back with the best of them, but he never does unless I'm over there. And then me and him start acting like we're both 19 again. And just and my mom and my wife will just be so pissed at us. We're out by the grill. Everyone's eating Bob. already. And we're just, yeah. we're, just, burnt. we're just fucking hammered listening to Hank, Willie, and Wayne. <laughs> I know. Uh, I love you, Dad. I watched my dad like he always he tapered back as I got older, but I never I never saw any one of my either one of my parents like ever in a change of state. Like I never saw them not like themselves. And then when we were cleaning my dad's stuff out, had just straight bottles uh -oh. of liquor. Uh oh, shot. we're about to get interrupted. Everybody, it's the baby prepare girl. to meet. Dun dun dun. Hello. Sister Faze, hey. come here, baby. Company, come on in. You're on the podcast. Strangers, what you need? Nothing. You want to come talking to the mic? What, what's that? <laughs> I'm really bad right now. No, you look no. beautiful. What do you need? What do you need? Huh? You just wanted to come say hey to your dear old dad? She's so sweet. Evan, that's sister, sister Evan, and you know Chris. We all know Chris. Unfortunately, we all know Chris. That's right. Well, you sure you don't need none? All right, I love you. Bye. 
Bye. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, that's the best way your daughter could walk into a garage with three men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. She knows. She knows. Yeah, she, she, if she, she didn't even cross the fucking threshold. If she <laughs> came in and sat down and be like, what's going on? I'd Punch her in the stomach. Uh, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> Bitch, you need to get out of here. Let's get to Evan Cooper. He's on the podcast. Uh, we didn't even talk about UFC. Just finish that uh, after then. UFC, oh, dude, we, we never. We haven't we don't finished, even talk. Yeah. We haven't finished a single thought <laughs> yet. We talked about fat guys in booths. We've talked about UFC. We've talked about which presidents. might be my favorite talk is the fat guys in booths. Dude, That's hilarious. Fat guy problems in general are something that I want to like bring up on stage, but I don't know. I don't know how well it'll There's, be. It's me, hilarious because it's like I would have never. I don't like, well, like which I, boots are nailed down. I don't go to restaurants because I know which boots are nailed down right. or not nailed down in this city. I don't even. Oh, you know definitely take a like quick that. peek and go table. Mm. Yeah. Uh, table. You know, yeah. you walk up to no. it, kick and you know the ones that outside. You, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Patio. It's can you, forty to good. Well, you bring it to yeah. my truck. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Well, you, I'm gonna sit in the toilet there's while a lot all the pieces of, things, of shit live. There's I'll a lot just, of, I'll go to the bar. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I try to not do as a fat guy because they're fat guy tendencies. You like reach over and tie your shoes. I make sure mine stay tied. I no. Short, I don't care letting about the, that bottom of your gut come out, bro. I want to create a new pair of underwear or something <laughs> that helps with the under part of your belly. That's no, maternity dude, pants. I was you know just I mean? about to say. I was just going to say, if you go to the military, the military uniform pants, like they look like the uh, the camo, yeah. but then when they lift them up, there's no belt, there's no loops. It's just a kangaroo pouch that goes over their stomach, so it still looks uniform. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> because the bottom of my belly is destroyed from my belt buckle. No, it's just Zubaz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joining the military. You know what? You know today. what? I, I hate that fashion has not swung back around on, and I'm just gonna. I might just start getting them on stage. Is Zubaz? What the fuck is that? Zoo the pants. They're the. They were the colored the Velcro ones. No, no. I'm gonna the explain the colored to you. wild. They were zebra print right. of different NFL teams. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's how know. you buckle them. Yeah. That's how you buckle them. They have a Velcro on here. You pull it tight on this side. And it was just pull a big it. lot of loom. Suck yeah. my dick. I mean, it was crazy. I had a pair. Ne- I, look, I, can, I guarantee you no man has ever gotten a blowjob when the woman had to go. Same guy who has a Velcro that I was wallet. just about to you're say. You're not getting laid I don't a give a damn wallet. if you pull a platinum out of it. If you're like $7,000, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Like even they hear the metal go. Even the, the prostitutes are like, "Nah, this ain't gonna happen, I mean, buddy." I, you you might have seen this, but uh, there's you know the, talking about military and Velcro. Yeah, it's one of the I've heard it multiple times. It's one of the most ridiculous things they could have done because when you're trying to be quiet, yeah, ripping Velcro. Shh. And this guy said, "You know, I'm in. I've I've got 25 years uh, military. No, you know, <laughs> and he, he says I can do it and make it where you can't hear the Velcro at all. And then when he does it, you know what I'm gonna do." Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's the greatest fucking it video. It is so funny. Uh, let's go back to fat guy things that I do not want to do. I make sure I never lean over to tie my shoe like this because your shoelaces always end up on the side. <laughs> that shit don't bother me at all. That is the most fat guy fucking move. And every time I see anybody, I'm like, you're a lazy piece of shit. Don't do it. And I, that's one of those things I'm like, I'm not doing it. I try not to do the shirt pull. Hold on. Their shirt pull just shows incon- <laughs> uh, insecurity <laughs> so fucking bad. Let me just Johnny's show. shoes. Aren't even tied. That's worse than the side tie. Dude, these are my shit shoes. I, don't I wear, noticed. I don't wear socks. <laughs> you know aware. how I feel? This is how I feel. I always like, one of the things I always you see. see my pink that's not from hard work. That's just from fat feet busting through the yeah, side. Yeah, that's from me just trying to move left and no, right. No, I do that because I have wide feet. <laughs> yeah. I always, yeah, I have wide. I have fucking hooves. You think I would have wide feet just based on my uh, Very dainty everything? feet? Dude, if I step on a, anything, I'm like, I fucking hate everybody. <laughs> Dude, we, we have spent an hour doing nothing and have not asked him a single question. Let's get to Evan oh, wow. Cooper, baby. We don't have to. I think it's been a good show. It's the it's mics. It's been fun. It's the mics. It's because we're chill, dog. Is, is that what it is? I don't know if it's this because is because we know him. Good. John, are you getting a Wrangler or did I talk you out of it? No, I, you hadn't talked me in or out of it. Out. No. Okay. I mean, just because you're like, oh, everybody says they ride bumpy. Who he was trying to talk me out of mine. That's fucking wild. He was you trying to talk me out of mine. I was, I was thinking about it. I called him. Wranglers suck. Whatever. They look cool as shit. It's fuck. It's. I mean, it's. It's. I have a a daughter that that's going to be for. I would love to have a jeep, but if I had a jeep, it'd be decked. The I'd be able to leave in it and survive. This motherfucker. Give one of those Mercedes vans. Man, I used to when I had my uh, my white Tahoe. It was ready. 
I could leave. It was your bug out. And survive. Fire starter in the back, water purifier. You uh, keep going. No, I'm like, no, I, I, had, I'm right there with it you. It had food. It had yeah. multiple days worth of clothes. It had sleeping bags. Like, the one I had thing, a box built in the back of my truck. I do have a survival kit. The one thing I, I put in it that I was like, this is actually a game changer. A lot of people need to think about fishing net. I've got, I got a cool one. Yeah. I got a trap. It, it, it folds just, up like that umbrella does and then pops open. And then you just throw, you throw whatever you want. How long did it there? take you to realize Mr. or the Krusty Krab was a crab trap? Yeah. Today. Uh, just now. Today, <laughs> years old. It's a fucking crab yeah. trap. Yep. Sure is. Oh, yeah. uh, anyway, back to the no, podcast. No, like, that's like when uh, you realize Peter Pan is an angel to take dead kids to heaven. That's why they don't go up. Sad as fuck. Womp womp. Yeah. That Damn. was one. That's oh. one of those, like, we could have just made him a fairy tale. Hey, how did Casper die? Do they talk about that? Cancer or something? Um, like <laughs> having, died choked, having choked a good time. Boy got fucked to death. Yeah. Choked to death. Like, the way Gumbo died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time. <laughs> Is that what did he have? Pneumonia. Lamar Odom disease. <laughs> it was Lamar Odom disease. You don't remember that when uh, he uh, died and was in a coma for six days from dick pills and cocaine in a brothel? That's just a good time. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, this guy's a fucking Sounds legend. Like last Saturday. Yeah, yeah. like fucking. Sounds legend. like the best night of my life. What yeah. are we talking about? What's going on here? That's always what pisses me off is when you want me to make my athletes good people. I'm like, not, but they're not. No, they don't have to be like good they people. are alpha men. Like when they're like Tiger Woods cheated on his wife, I was like, the fuck does that have to do with the fucking four? Like, yeah, like <laughs> that, that, sh- that ain't got shit to do with his dude, masters. Did you see that opens? Uh, what is it, Stefan Diggs? Yeah, he took his IQ test and he is borderline retarded. <laughs> so he scored a forty nine. No, but this is okay. This <laughs> is like I, I think a forty five is like no, mentally when retarded. They, when oh, they wow. say that, when they say that, this wow. is what I always say. One, did he know it was not like did he not not like was he comprehending, but like. Did he think he was taking some bullshit test? Because also, he's a millionaire and he plays football. If this doesn't involve that, or some hoes, who gives a fuck? Also true. So if it's you like, put a test in front of me, I'm like, I don't want to like, do this. Get, like, no, <laughs> like, I graduated like, in 99. Yeah, you if somebody right now gave you a PSAT, you'd spell Pizza Hut on the scan trying to go, don't waste my fucking yeah, time. Like, pizza good. Hut? What are you talking about? C, C, yeah, C, like, C, You would not C, give a fuck. C. You know what's the most common answer, so I'm probably going to get a bunch of them, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You sit there and you go, wait, so this doesn't affect my paycheck? No. This doesn't affect my kids? No. This doesn't affect how I pay my bills? No. The, why why like, the fuck am I doing? Yeah. yeah. So that's what you, what you would. For? I think that. And then second of all, you don't get to that level by being borderline retarded. What it was is he took one of those uh, online IQ tests, yeah. and that's and yeah. that's what everybody's basing it on. He submitted it too soon. Yeah. And, even if he does, <laughs> and even if he does, that border <laughs> three. <laughs> even if he does, that damn near waterhead can buy all of us. Oh yeah, like, yeah. it doesn't. Good for fucking him. How do y'all feel about the I, the new cyber trucks? Like, I don't like them. I don't like the way they look. And it's but if you could afford, if you were, if that I don't was know a, if that's it. yeah, that's the thing is like if you were in that tax bracket where this was buying a Honda Civic, you'd be like, why the fuck? I can't not? buy a fucking Honda Civic. Nope. Uh, yeah, you see, <laughs> um, but the other day I saw a black one. There's one in here. There's one in the city. A black there's one. There's like five of them. Right? Yeah. Well, no, there's, there's one. That, there's one, one across from, yeah. from where we where you, the job. <laughs> I still wouldn't buy a Cybertruck, dude. The if black I could one looks one, sick. I, couldn't buy, I wouldn't buy one. But no, I think it's it's one of those things of like I don't know if I'm being a hater on X. <laughs> you, you know, it's just <laughs> like am I hating because I can't? Because it's like who the fuck wears Abercrombie until you can afford Abercrombie and then you're like pop my collar and yeah. my puka shell. I need necklace, two of them bitch. different yeah. colors so I can pop them both. Yeah. <laughs> what is Abercrombie? You don't. Uh, it was the uh, mid 2000s yeah. What is? What are we talking about? Um, but I've I, always felt that about shit. I'm like. Like, some new J's will come out, like the retros, and I'm like, nah, I don't really fucking like those. And so I'm you like, got $400 to fuck off or with. Or like, when Yeezys like, came out, I don't even know if I like Yeezys. I own three pairs of them, but I'm like, am I just doing this because they're can. dope to people, or am I doing them because I like them? One pair I have, I fucking hate. They look like... They you, look like s- you saw the shoes that I just put on the table, right? Yeah. Do you know how much they cost? About 50 That was uh, like 250 bucks. $195 Yeah, for those, those are expensive shoes. shoes. And you saw what I did to yeah. them. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what shoes are for. Yeah. Well, it's like I got that new pair of Jordans. Yeah. And like when we went to the fair, all those people, they, they had the shoe cleaning guys. It's like, y'all stay at the fucking mall, first of all. Don't come to family yeah. day. And they're like, let me let me clean them up. And I was like, no, nah, I like them fucked up. And he's like, no one likes their shoes fucked up. And I'm like, I almost want to be it like, depends. like, I'm not a fuck boy. I do not care. No, nah, you got to understand. Because like a lot of it, like when they give black people a hard time for like they, they try to get on them about their shoes. It's like a lot of them couldn't afford it. And a lot, it's like, it's still a collection. It's no different than anything yeah. else. So it's like, if you couldn't get that or you had to do those things and now you value it, it it's no, di- it's no different than a coin collection or a watch collection for a lot of people. Cause a lot of, it's like asking, it's like, could you, did you always have that? And it's like, no, like you yeah. get a job. Or well, you and I whatever. used to be a big sneaker head. Like yeah. at one point I probably had 25 pairs of Jordan fours in all different colors. Mm-hmm. And I fucking loved them. And I tried to keep those as clean as possible. 
But now I've gotten to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm not a sneaker. I'm not a sneaker head. I'm not buying any new releases, really. Yeah. If I catch them at a decent price, I'll fucking buy them if I like them. But also, I'm buying one pair of shoes a year instead of, hey, when my commission check comes in monthly, that's yeah. when I'm getting my fucking I mean, there's a level of responsibility you have to have with it. Yeah. I have four pair of shoes. I have boots. Quit bragging. I have <laughs> these nasty <laughs> bastards that I wear with no socks. I got a nice pair that I wear with no socks, and then I have my day. No but socks I do the same thing with. Dude, I, do the same I thing fucking with, hate wearing socks. If I could go. That's why I just have cops. Sockless for the rest of awesome. my life, I would. You can. I can't. Why? Because death comes out then of my he'll, shoes. Then he'll have to get way more than four pairs of shoes. Johnny has a fucked up foot, right? From that one time? No, both of my feet smell like garbage. Why? It's because you don't wear well, socks. It's because I got That's trench why. foot one time. Yeah, yeah, but let's be honest. If your feet stink, it's because you're not wearing socks, buddy. Do you put powder in them or Yeah, anything? hell yeah. yeah. Oh, let's just take a deep. No. <laughs> Another seizure on the podcast. Not, how, how brave are you? For me, not wearing socks it's with those shoes. It's that all over again. That's what, exactly. That was the whitest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, in my I did life. that, and I was like, "Damn, we did that in front no, of the black guy." That was guy. the whitest shit. You want to hit life. this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like the party? You want to hit though? <laughs> oh, man. I was even more shocked. Like as I was doing, it, I was like, "Evan's not gonna like this." No, that's so wild. And then wild. as you offered, it, I was like, "Why would he do that?" You know what I man? think it is though? I think it's like white, like black guys are just now getting around to like gay fun. And it was just like y'all been gay, missing out, dude. No, yeah, it's gay not, fun. Gay fun is the best. Like there's just kind of, and it's yeah. not like we still have never hit that level. But I think a lot of it is we can finally relax enough to like not take ourselves so seriously. Well, and and what's uh, honestly what it is, I'm gonna say it. There is a big level of uh, homophobia in the black community. No, it is. And but I think exactly it's, I think what we're it starting is. to grow out of it. And like you know, but a lot of it is like this is where the homophobia comes from. It comes from like being black is hard enough. Yeah. And then when I would never when you believe no like that was fun to no, say I tell no people, like, <laughs> when somebody goes when somebody goes I don't see color no one laughed and I didn't like it. I was like fuck uh, no, I was, it took a second for it to register when, uh, when white people go I don't see color it's like all right would you rather live a hundred years and be black or fifty years and be white dude I'd rather really live two years of white <laughs> <laughs> like it's one of those of like you can't tell me because it's like I don't see color it's like, okay well that means you don't see the bad shit either you're choosing not to oh, see oh dude it. people that say that it's like why would you even why but would you say that? That's a you, crazy thing. Like you, we're not going to acknowledge that. If you're from that generation man? where you think being gay is a choice, and you look at your child, and it's like you you you're doing it out of protection. If it's you, very ignorant, but you're like, hey, I don't. You don't want to. It's hard enough to be black. Don't be black and gay. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? It's you what know Atlanta's how hard, for. No, it's like you know how hard I fucking want to make it. Make sure I didn't raise a gay guy. It's hard enough to raise a nigga that didn't go to jail. Like that's. But that's how they. That's for real. I. I don't know nothing about it. I'm a white. Guy. I love a gay black man because they are so much sassy. And go fight him if you fucking want to. I would go never. fight him if you fucking want to. That's the only person I've ever seen successfully pull off the windmill. You're a gay black man because it's man strength behind it. Catch yeah. one of them bitches if you want to. What, what it, you there, can I'm hit with this you, part the, of your hand. That shit hurt. There was some comedian like back in the early 2000s. He's like, you can't fight a gay man because all they do, they're strong man. All they do is just toss around men all day. <laughs> Yeah. No, the He's best one is that Carlos Miller joke where he was like, "Nah, because I ain't trying to get shot by nobody holding the gun underhanded." <laughs> underhanded. When he was like, "No, nah, say what you said." He had to, he's say like, what "Say you what you said. said." It's like that one video. I'm say sure you have seen it, motherfucker. There's that very flamboyant black man. And he goes, he grabs the, there's some dude that you can just tell he thinks he's tough, man. And he grabs him and he goes, say it again. Fucking say it. Oh, no, and when he, he beats. He drops him and then like, and he, he picks him up. He, he goes, does like a perfect, you shit? he does a perfect, <laughs> John, no, he does like, they're standing up and he got, he grabs him and you can see like, even though his like perfect posture back is all, it's man strength, so he can't get him off of him. And he does a perfect outside trip. Sweeps him. Sweeps him on the gun. And I mean. Like the gate, like it's the same like extra motion uh, of man momentum of dude, pop, like straight to his face, he and you can tell like dude up. And he he goes, punches him a couple times, and, he go, and he's like, standing, he standing, he standing over. He goes, "Now what were you saying?" Yes. <laughs> now what were you saying? And, and like the guy's like trying fight. to get Please up. Explain it. No, he's like he's trying to get up, and then he, he the guy gets up, and then the man like the pride gets him. He doesn't want to take the L, and he goes up and he goes. It just yeah. Spartan <laughs> kicks him straight dude, in the face. It's the sad. And it's one of those of like. You could have just walked away and said my bad. Like nobody would have thought. Like, Cause at the end of the day, even though he was gay, the guy was like six two. Like he was, was a, a big, big old dude. dude. Like it's still a man to do that. You can't believe you ignored our guest. Huh? Yeah, for your wife. Who gives? You yeah, for your wife. You know where you people. live. 
Well, she texted me twice, and I was like, fuck, there might be something. Whips. She needs to FaceTime like my wife did in the middle of the podcast. Dude, do you remember? Okay. You she remember, was asking what kind of deodorant I needed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you remember the Extra fuck? That strength. is kind of an emergency. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you wear men's deodorant or women's deodorant? Men's. I, I ain't women's deodorant. A lot of people do because it's stronger for some reason. The bitches the hormones. Be stanky. Hormones. Um, maybe. I, I use, just like the way it smells. What's your deodorant go to? Uh, degree all day, twenty four seven with the spray, and then roll on the. Old Evan's spice. also a sweaty man for not being a fat guy. Yeah, Evan I, might I be run the hot. Sweatiest dude. I run hot. If you see him at the theater, he's probably not wearing a shirt. Yeah, because that theater's hot as shit back there. Yeah, it's un unbearable. And I, 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 I've, I've been back shirt. there. No, it's not. No, nah, it gets hot. It's hot. Maybe I got a fat guy trapped inside. Like, I'm a nutty professor. I'm in my buddy love stage right now. Ooh. Oh, buddy love. And then when I hit 38, <laughs> I just lose all this shit. He's going to look like Cedric Glover when he's 50. <laughs> my mom used to date Cedric Glover. That motherfucker. We, I used he to, came to my neighborhood night out. And my mom was like, hey, Cedric. I was like, who the fuck is Cedric? My, <laughs> uh, my wife used to run Monjunis, and we used to do the uh, nice Independence guy. Bowl yeah. announcement party every year. Mm -hmm. And we always did Monjunis mini meatballs. And Cedric Glover was at one of them one year, and he came over and he was like, "Um, uh, do do you uh, what, what 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 do you what do you guys have here?" And I was like, "These are, these are mini meatballs, Is he fucking well, foghorn well, leghorn." Well, uh, <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I say, I say. Well, uh, uh, um, um, uh, let me and let me have a couple of those. <laughs> so I was informed, like, just give out three at a time. You know, yeah. what I mean, we got plenty of them. But just give out. Just can't so give way. a man of that size three can't little bottles. No, no, no. And, and, and I know that. Like a baby you know shower? I mean? Well, I mean, I've got all sorts of stuff here that I'm scooping. Oh, I've got it's mini a meatballs. I've got pasta dish. salad. Yeah. yeah, i got all sorts of stuff. So we're trying to conserve meatballs so that way I'm not just like dumping ten meatballs on somebody's no. plate and we run out. So uh, I put three on the plate and hand it to him, and he looks down, and he was like, oh, now what? And I was like, oh, yeah, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> so I scooped him some more. And then he comes back over a few minutes later, and he's like, um, mm, you know, those uh, um, uh, those mini meatballs are delicious. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he's he, a fucking cartoon character. He fucking came back a few times and got mini meatballs, and then I made him a to-go plate. Of mini and, meatballs? Of mini meatballs. And I was like, here you go, brother. And he was like, oh, oh young man, I thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's just like the, the, the man, smell I, hits him and carries him. Him, like it picks him up out the air like the whole <laughs> I saw him a few years later at something and I was walking through, ball guy. I was walking through and I was like oh Seti G and I patted him on his belly as I walked past and he was and that's what he said he was like mini meatballs <laughs> what if like, he just this motherfucker this motherfucker can't remember nothing but, but he, he remember, remembered the mini meatballs dude, and the guy that started there's such a he was such a good he man is, he is such a good he's a nice guy yeah he you was know a very the good funniest man. thing about him so I'm really shot the fuck up after he. I don't know well, what he was doing. I'm just doing. saying, uh, you know what he. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of how he talked. There you know used what? to be a billboard on Stoner Avenue, a big ass billboard with his picture on it, right? And it was like Cedric Glover for mayor or whatever. And someone got up there and spray painted. So this is like a 20 foot <laughs> fucking thing, right? And someone spray painted on it actual size. <laughs> Which might be the best fucking graffiti of all time. Because this motherfucker's like six, you seven, You know what? Like now, that, now that you're saying that, like that is the definition of criminal mischief. It's like so it's not funny. mean. It's it so is funny. just mischief like uh, to the best extent. And just when I saw that, man, I was like, you know, I know that ain't Banksy, but that needs to be in a fucking museum. <laughs> That's such mischief. Like that's so good. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. No, it's like the guy. Like, I don't remember no, that. It's the, it's I the do guy. Not remember that it's at the all. guy so driving good. down the road, and he's like, Shit. and his boy, like his boy, is girl looks like goes, don't. He's like, I, I gotta, I got to. I, I can't not do it. I gotta. He's actually standing right that's there. That's the clip right there. Holy Johnny died. That, that is so funny. No, uh, I'm, I'm gonna find that picture. I know it was on a website <laughs> for a long time, and it made me laugh so hard. Um, but so back in, I think. It was eighth grade going into freshman year. I was in a punk band, and we played a show at Stoner Skate Park. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. What, for lack of a better word, what position were you in this Blink punk 182 band? pounds. Bass. bass. <laughs> you play bass. I played bass. Slap at the bass. All right, all right go ahead. All right, with, continue. With, so with your punk band. I was, so all the, all the punk bands, because we used to have a really good punk scene in town. Like, there was like five, six, seven bands that would do shows, so, like, it was always cool. We'd play, like, Big D's Barbecue and shit like that. I mean, we only played, like, two shows because we just did it on the summer. Like, we got, like, he four songs. He named dropped Big D's Barbecue. I was just, it took me so – I didn't want to say we have the meats, bone in, bone out. They were all – it was golden decks up there. But you were saying? Big D's. Do you remember Big D's? I, yeah, no, I, yes. All I right. Shout so out, Mr. Gaddy. Did you ever though. eat Big D's? Yeah, it was never great. Never great. No, they microwaved most of their food. Not good at all. No. Okay, so Shout out, Mr. Gaddy's, though. You were saying I worked at Mr. Gaddy's. 
and get a Mr. Gaddis pizza delivered. You just unlocked a memory. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Okay, so back to this. So Sorry. we do this show. Punk rock. So punk rock is all about being punk rock. So we weren't allowed to do a show there, but there's outlets. Let's do a show. Uh-oh. People will skateboard. We'll play punk music. It'll be a good time. So we open up. And this is how punk rock I was. My mom dropped me off in her minivan. and uh, <laughs> With your uh, shirt under your long sleeve shirt, spiked no, hair. No, no. Uh, no, I didn't have all Big that. Big ass Osiris I was just shoes. a regular dude. Uh, uh, Jinkos. Jinkos in a black button I down. wish. We Big could ass never DC afford Jinkos. shoes with a tongue and eyes on my DC phone. Definitely DC shoes. Had a skateboard hanging from his pocket. Uh, so we get there, and so all the, other, all the bands were like, hey, we'll let y'all use our shit. Just bring your instruments. I'm like, all right, cool. So we just plug into their shit. So I pack my shit up after our little like three, four song set, and rock the cradle. Of and love. I just put it by next to me, and then cops start showing up. So right then I'm like, "Hey, yo, mom, come pick me up. Cops are coming." She was God, like, I can't "All right." In front of my so, yeah. So my dad gets in, or my dad pulls up as more cops are rolling. He's like, "Come on, let's get in the car and go." And I was like, "All right, cool." So we fucking dip out of there. The next day, I call my buddies. I was like, "Dude, what happened last night?" Dude, so one of the guys in one of the bands started running around saying, fuck the police, fuck the police. And the cops just immediately start beating the shit out of everybody there. Fucking everybody. No one's off limits. Everyone's getting busted in the face with fucking billy clubs, all that shit. Dude, Cedric Glover comes out and says, you know, a lot of people talk about minorities being black, Mexican. It's not color. It's these kids that are out here doing shit like this. They're the minority, and our police comes out there and beats the shit out of these underage kids for no reason because they're out there having a good time, not causing any problems. And I remember thinking that. I was like, fucking Cedric Glover. Yep. When I'm 18, I'm voting for you. And then, of course, he never ran again because you can tell by his weight he never ran. Um, I, have to, I had to have both of my knees replaced. <laughs> I really just didn't have But, yeah, any. that just reminded FTR. me. It reminded yeah. me of, like, a lot of people had always told me, like, oh, Cedric Glover was a great mayor. Well, we had to customize the back seats of my uh, Yukon in order for me to get my in My chamber is now diesel. <laughs> Dude, when you're that size, what do you drive? You don't. You sit in the back seat. Well, you drive like a Tahoe or something with a truck. Even, dude, I've driven Tahoe. With a bunch of steps. Yeah. It's just crazy, like, being that big of a man to where you, there's no vehicles for He you. is a gigantic I person. think he's actually lost some weight, though. Yeah, I'm not trying to talk shit, but no, he is but a... He's like a six... He is a no, even, no, even if he didn't have individual. the weight, yeah. he was... Yeah, he's six, a five at least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I will say Everybody, this though: Shreveport in my lifetime was so much safer than what it. And I mean, I don't know if that's a bigger issue than you know, just the mayor, but I, when I when I bailed my brother out of jail the other night, it was like when by the time he got out, it was almost it was like twelve thirty when he came out the door. Yeah. And then he lives over; he's living over on in the hood off yeah. of Midway and Hearn. Damn. And damn, when you know I live over here in Broadmoor, mm-hmm. and my. I run, I don't run into the hood, you know, for the most part. And, um, I didn't realize like, man, there's cops everywhere over, like you don't see cops, you do not see cops over here like that. There's not a police presence over here. No, no, no. But when you get over Hearn. And they have to be. You get over Hearn and Midway, man, I saw, I saw no less than probably 20 different cop cars and all of them were responding to something. Yep. Yeah. It was nuts. It looks like a war zone. Yeah. Like it doesn't look. No street lights working and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Don't want to like, and it's one of those of like, it sucks, but what do you want them to do? Put and it's in, like, put in sidewalks, it'll change everything. No, it's like, what do you want them to do? It's like, stop acting like, not, you know, you don't want to point the finger because it's, it's a bigger issue, but it's like, look, man, you can sell drugs without shooting nobody. Yeah. Guys, I got to take a dump. Oh, is that it? Well, well, we have success. Done? Hopefully, that was a good one. Yeah, good. I, I've enjoyed it. It's the it. mics. It's the mics. It might be. We're all chilled, relaxed. You know what? We talked about a whole lot of. We didn't number. even talk about Evan. Yeah. We, but it was a good one. Who's right? Evan? If they <laughs> want to know, come see me at Tiki Bar every Friday. Yeah, yeah on the Friday. Corner of East just, you got a show next Friday. Plug it. I do. Uh, You're hosting the show. I'm hosting. We got Tiki? some guys coming in from Lafayette. Is it a showcase? Yep. Uh, I think yeah, it's a showcase. Whew, that means I get a I get an excuse for not showing up this week. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love it when the comics don't show up and support unless they're on stage. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Time out. Let me just say something. It should not be abnormal that Johnny Gates doesn't show up. No, Johnny, you are the you are the fun uncle of the comedy scene. We're like Johnny, Johnny's here, baby. <laughs> what do you Johnny! mean, Barks has bites? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can totally buy love. What's up? Hey, why is this serial number scratched off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't open, don't let that uh, the block over. <laughs> I stole this shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you do paint in orange. Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing people with painted bikes. Like, you stole that, you motherfucker. motherfucker. Dude, what's the first thing you remember getting stolen 
like I lived as in a, a good kid, neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> I guess so. I will tell you one time someone screwed me out of so I got a someone traded me a video game and it was uh, a Game Boy game. And we traded at school, and I don't remember what I traded him, but I had uh, he gave me a wrestling game. It was like WWE, WWF Raw or some yeah. shit like that, and I was so excited about it. And then after school, we'd go to daycare until my parents got off, and this kid was like, oh, that's a cool game. He's like, check out this mini stapler I got. And I'm like, <laughs> you got gypped. I do. Stapler. I go, dude, that thing's fucking sick, dog. <laughs> and like, he's like. Do you like it? And I was like, I've never seen a mini stapler. I've only seen a big boy stapler. You got you lost the whole video game for a book fair toy, you fucking idiot. Not even a book fair. He probably took it from his teacher. Yeah, probably. This dude got a free... And I remember... I thought about this the other day. And I was like, why the fuck did I do that? free in his head. Dude, it, that was a buried memory. And like, Because I remember getting it and being like, what the fuck did I just do? And I was like playing with it. I was like, I don't even have any fucking papers, dude. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I got nothing to secure together. I have yeah. nothing to do this. I have no with. contracts that I have. Dude, to, I, I remember I got to my, this day. I don't need a fucking stapler. We were at a, a birthday party at our church, uh, and I went to the moon bounce, and some kids in the projects across from our church came over, and you know, I, like, like let them eat. We got food. Yeah. You know, let them have Fuck. a good time. Like, you know, it, it, and it's a church. Like, that's yeah. what it's for. I get out the moon. The moon bounce. My shoes are gone, and I'm like, do I don't know where my shoes are. It, I, I tell my mom, I'm like, I don't know my shoes. She does the mom thing. How the hell do you lose shoes? They're yeah. on your feet. You know, so, did you check here? Did you check it? And like, I'm walking around, and then it starts clicking. Like, uh, no, the like I was like, kids. no, I know. Like I was like, yeah, no, I take them outside the moon bounce. I got in there, not here, and then it, it clicks, and then everybody's like, oh, you know, everybody feels bad. That's why I learned you can walk in the mall. I walked in the mall barefoot with my grandma. She drove me from St. Vincent, drove in St. Vincent Mall, walked in there, got a brand new pair of box, first pair of Soldier Lee's. No, they were Allen Iverson's. Oh, I got a pair of answers. answer, baby. <laughs> and I was like, yo, y'all can steal my shit all yeah, the time. Yeah, y'all can steal I, I, never, I asked for those forever, and I just wasn't getting them. But I got my shoes stolen. <laughs> like, like, those little, I those some, little yeah. fucking baby kids took my shoes. And That's I fucking the only thing that comes to mind for me is... And they, well, you know what the funniest part about that? Allen Iverson was the answer in that situation. That was the answer I had no to this shoes. problem. He was the answer. See, I don't. I never got into shoes like that. Like I never bought the Jordans. I the only ones I ever got into were the Air Max, like the ninety seven. I loved yeah. it. I, I yeah. never. I didn't know there was one pair that I fell in love with. They were the charcoal gray. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even Air Max know. Are sick. They don't come yeah. my size. I didn't know what Jordans was until like middle school. Back when I was into sneakers, we'll go eventually. That shit went away. I farted good, and uh, now we're rolling, baby. Thank God the fans on. Uh, is it? I don't feel shit. Um, Are you hot again? I'm always hot, dude. I'm biggest. Man, fuck. dude, he was, we were here a couple weeks ago, and it was like 68 degrees in this bitch, and he was like, man, fucking hot back here. Nothing to do with the nine beers he's housed. <laughs> <laughs> that was the day I was drinking, too, and I was still. Anyway. All right, guys. Sorry. Appreciate that. <laughs> Making fun of Chris. Would you, would you grab me a Coke? Yes, I would. God damn, we're almost two hours. So much fun. You know how much editing I have? I got two hours of editing. I cannot put out a two-hour-long podcast. We we are not. Between the intro, you got a solid 45 minutes. I mean, I know we got at least 45. Sure. Yeah. So you talking about that beautiful intro that I did with the radio voice? That Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. I always like to do a morning DJ Dude, voice on the radio. You out. know, when I, when I was in a band, I used to do sound check, and I would do the uh, the uh, weather. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, Next time we do this, uh, I want to go ahead and use my radio DJ voice. Like, we got the traffic going good on the 9 twos. If you're going out and taking 20, it should be good. Speaking Double of the radio, KRMD hit me up on Facebook. 101.1. Whenever uh, white people tell me their stations, I'm like, I have no fucking idea. Oh, I don't, I don't know. KWKH. I know 103.7, 99.7, 102.9. KRUF, the big dog. 102.1 if I need it. I think it's a country music station. I don't know. But they do. Please put me on that. 101.1. Yeah, KRMD is country. Please put me on that. They want to start getting comics on for five, ten minute segments uh, around five o'clock when they have a morning. No. Does it have to be clean? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I can do clean. Yeah, you Me can too. talk clean for ten minutes, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's like, I want to start having people on showcase so y'all can promote events and stuff. They just hit us up, and I was like, fucking right, dude, yeah. that's awesome. It's country though. Yeah. It is. Country I just music. want the first one to be a black guy. I'm oh, going to yeah. go in and a wife beater, just all my tattoos showing. Hi, my name is Edwin Cooper. Yeah, I, love How are I you? wanted to talk to y'all about comedy. Yeah. Um, you know, if you guys come on down to the Tiki Bar, you know, everybody, everybody, gets, everybody gets Tiki Bar. I want to go like on there and just act, like I'm, just act like I'm just autistic. But, hey, so you're a local comedian? Yes, I'm in the trains. No, just see. Yes. See. Yeah. See. 
trans. <laughs> like just Jews start all the yeah. wars. Just crush it immediately. <laughs> like, all right, never mind. We can't have these comments. Yeah, we've what decided like? that comedy is not our line. It's like because yeah. if you got one in and then you have to fucking half screw the what other. What you tucking your shirt it? for, fat boy? I see. Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> It got caught in yeah, the roll, baby. The out. fat boy so is anyway, holding. That's just such a yet. middle. What's up, Tubbs? <laughs> All right. This and on that that's note, it, we will end it. it. <laughs> Thank you guys for choosing this week's oh, – choosing. I'm, I'm doing the on-the-go delivery thing. <laughs> Thank you guys for choosing on-the-go delivery. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, uh, using our restaurant partners. All right. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for tuning in this week's episode of the Terrible Table Podcast. We, I think we learned who you are. Kind of. That was enough. I don't think, you know what? We don't need to be trying to figure out who these people are. We I just don't need care to be having are. fun. We just need to have a good time. Funnier than everybody else's, though, right? I wish we would have got that. I mean, not me. I'm Let's on talk about that one week. show, but that's for the next one. With oh, did Cooper. you see the list of questions that we have for this? Just, no. To, <laughs> just to, No, you don't have to put nothing back on. We can do this quick. So, like, uh, tell us about that one show. What do you love about comedy? Some gay questions. Uh, but the one that, that we really wanted to ask is, what's your favorite street joke? Do you have one? Ooh, we're trying to figure out questions to ask the guests. Like traditionally, do you have a street joke? You know, knock knock, who's there? Or you know, I sent uh, I sent Johnny one yesterday that made me laugh. It's not a street joke, but it's a Norm Macdonald joke, and (laughs) it's so funny. Uh, Our dogs always run into the door when the doorbell rings. It's almost never for them. You didn't put the almost in there. I didn't. You didn't. <laughs> it's such a good joke. Yeah, that's, it's almost yeah. never for them. It, but the almost is what makes it even better. So I thought about I thought about it, and I've got a good street joke for us. Let's go. So this guy goes into a bar, and at the end of the bar, there's a jar full of $100 bills. And uh, he's like, what's, what's that all about? And the bartender says, well, uh, for a $100 bet, you put $100 in there. If you complete the three tasks, that that we have you win the whole jar and he's like what are the three tasks and she says well do you see that big burly guy down there at the end of the bar well that's jeff if you can knock jeff out one punch that's task one task two is we have jeff's dog out back he's part wolf part husky just a mean son of a bitch and you have to go out and he's got a bad tooth out there and you got to go out and get that tooth out of his mouth and bring it in here and put it on the bar and then finally you have to go upstairs, and Jeff's mama is up there, and she's a rugged, mean old lady, but you have to make her come. And if you can do all three of those tasks, you win this jar. The guy's like, ugh. So he starts drinking, and the more he drinks, the more he thinks about it. And then finally, about six, seven drinks in, he's like, you know what? I got this. Puts a $100 bill in the jar, walks down, kicks Jeff in the nuts so hard that he just falls over. And everybody's like, what the fuck? So then he walks out, says, where's that dog at? And he walks outside, and then you hear the dog growling and barking and howling and screaming. And then the guy comes back inside, and he's like, all right, now where's this old lady I got to get a tooth out of? <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. I guess I've heard that one, and I love it so yeah. much. I guess if I had one, and it's just so funny because it's so stupid, it's what do you call a woman with two black eyes? Nothing. Or yeah. no, what do you tell a woman? Yeah, what do you like, tell a woman with two black eyes? It's like nothing. I already said it twice. Yeah. Like, that's what is, always, that's just such what a is the one. first thing a woman does when she gets home from the battered women's shelter? What? The dishes, if she knows what's good. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. Thank you, guys. That's been this week's episode of the Terrible Table Podcast. Thank you for coming, Evan. Thank no, you for coming, it. Chris. We'll see you guys next time. This table is horrible. Oh, Smell that drawer. I just shit on his table. That's because it's a shit table. I mean, I get it now.